and I've got Meniere's disease. Um, again, here's one of my series of videos. This one I'm going to talk to you about is uh, on sinusitis, uh, which is inflammation of your sinuses, um, <coughs> which is very, very, very common, uh, especially during this cold and winter season. Uh, right now it's January 2012. Um, what I do notice is that, when, and it's very, very common, everyone, even people without Meniere's disease, get sinusitis, which is any type of inflammation of the sinuses from any cause. Uh, usually, majority of times, it's some kind of viral infection, but it can be bacterial. It can be from an inhalation of fumes, can be mechanical irritation by putting something in your nose, or it can even be from allergies. But sinusitis just means inflammation of the sinuses. Okay, There are four pairs of major sinuses. There's one on each side. Um, and the main one is the frontal sinus, which is right up here, okay? And then there's the maxillary sinus, which is right underneath your eyes, where your teeth are. Then in, in deeper inside, there's the ethmoid and sphenoid sinuses. And in the back area here, by, right by, behind the ear, is called the mastoid air cells, which is not quite a sinus, which is a cavity, but it, there, are, there are a bunch of little bubbled air cells in there um, that can get inflamed and infected. Um, I did print out a little picture here, um, you know, it, it sort of points out that there's, a, again, the frontal sinuses, the maxillary sinuses, the ethmoid sinuses are right between the eyes, the deeper inside, and if you cut open the, 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 the skull and the brain, you'll actually see, again, the frontal sinuses, uh, maxillary, ethmoid are right between the maxillary, and the sphenoid is up behind the eyes, um, and it's stuck back there, but all these sinuses basically can get inflamed or even infected. Now again, majority of infections of the sinuses is not from a bacteria, it's usually from some kind of virus or a cold that people get. So there's five major ways of treating sinusitis, five steps actually, to say of treating sinusitis. The first one you wanna do is you wanna open and clear the sinuses. Um, so um, the first one, the quick thing I wanna point out is there's a little acupressure um, sort of way of opening up the sinuses if you, if you don't have anything, um, medicines to take right away. And that is by taking your tongue, roll it up like this, roll it backwards, put it on the roof of your tongue, of your, of your, of your, of the palate, upper, upper, upper mouth, and then take a thumb or finger, push it on your frontal sinuses right between your eyes, sort of it's called the third eye, if you're, if you, if you know the chakras and all that, um, and roll the tongue backwards, and that will actually hold it there for about 20 to 30 seconds, put some deep pressure in there that should open up the sinuses quite a bit to help with a cold or, or the inflammation of the frontal and maxillary sinuses. The other thing you want to do is you want to sort of push right underneath your eyes, right on the the, the, the maxillary sinus, and that will help open things up too and, and really help um, clear things out. So that's one of the things you can do. The second more uh, naturalistic approach, or things that you can use to help open up the sinuses, is using um, sort of like the inhaled sort of essential oils. So like there's peppermint oil that, 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 that works really, really well. Um, just take a little bit of it, put it on a napkin or a moist face cloth and inhale it. It will open up the sinuses. But along with um, peppermint, you can also use pine scent, uh, menthol, or eucalyptus. I, I would recommend actually getting the actual true essential oils if you're gonna do that. And because all the other the other stuff may cause allergies. There's a bunch of smells that smell like that, but they actually are not the the true essential oils. Um, there's this one, the ENT doctors actually, a lot of them really recommend this Poneris, which is basically an um, oil mixed with peppermint, menthol, and eucalyptus. Works works great to sort of help open up the sinuses. And actually, supposedly, this is the, the one that they used on the uh, spaceships when they when they go into, went into the space because they couldn't really use any of the other oral medicines. And there's these things called Vapor Ease, Vicks Vapor Rub, same type of thing. It's a little pack that you put in some hot, uh, put it in some uh, hot lamp, and um, it releases these essential oil smells. And these work really well, sort of to help open up the sinuses. Um, as far as medicines go, um, I, I would recommend, uh, and I'm going to actually attach to the end of this video uh, my little walkthrough, like a, a local pharmacy. But basically. You can use either neosinephrine, okay, phenylhydrogenamine, or uh, oxybutin, or a nasor, na it's called afrin, it's the oxymetalazone. Okay, use one or the other. Do not use both. They're both stimulants. They're very, very potent. 
and they get, I mean, I can guarantee, almost guarantee you they will open your sinuses. There's a caveat to this. You only use them for not more than two to three days because after two, three days, these things, you, your body gets used to them and you get a rebound effect, meaning that your sinusitis will get 10 times, five to 10 times worse after you use this for three days and you keep using it chronically and you come off of it. So only use it for two to three days just to get everything open so you can flush everything out and clear everything out. The next thing you can try, um, you know, again, Vicks Vapor Rub, again, the menthol things. But the next thing you could try is um, a Sudafed or Sudonephrin. Um, in the United States now, it's actually been sort of, it's still over the counter. You can still buy it without a prescription. However, you do need to go behind the counter and ask the pharmacist for it because what the pseudonephrine is, and actually what these things are, is they're actually um, very, very potent vasoconstrictors and they constrict the blood vessels and they're stimulants to, and they can actually cause the heart rate to go a little fast um, and make people sort of very alert and awake. It's Sudafed, um, the reasons behind the counter you have to ask for it now is because people have been taking large, large, large vats. We're talking about thousands of these pills, crushing it down, extracting it, and making basically crank or speed out of it. Um, it's a complex process, but anyway, the, the, that, so in small, low doses, these are safe and work very, very well to open up the sinuses. So the first thing you wanna do, again, open and clear the sinuses. The second thing you wanna do is you wanna actually drain the sinuses and, and get it to flush out. So first thing you want to do is get a tissue, <laughs> blow your nose. Watch out so you don't blow too forcefully. It will blow um, fluid up down your station tube, but up into your inner ear, middle ear area. So just blow, but blow gentle, but try to clear it all out. Next thing you want to do is some postural drainage, meaning that for the frontal sinuses, the, the openings open down and backwards. So you might want to not quite lie like a 45, 30, 45 degree angle and let things drain down backwards. Roll on one side, the right, roll on the left. <clears throat> for the frontal sinuses, you might want to lean forward a little bit and push on it. For the deeper ethmoid and sphenoid sinuses, there's really, really, again, they sort of drain down and sort of a little bit backwards. You might want to lean back a little bit, the head back, roll left, roll, roll right, and let, once you get all these medicines on board, let the, let the whole sinuses drain out, okay? Um, after you pass posturally try to drain things, I actually highly, highly, highly recommend it. I give this to all these all, multiple other people um, for people who have chronic allergies and sinusitis. And, and what I recommend is this, this Nelly Med sinus rinse. Um, and you buy these packets like this. What they are, they're these, these little preset packets um, that are specifically balanced and made for these little pots. So you just take some clear uh, room temperature boiled water or clear water or filtered water just pour it in here into the line pour a little one of these little packets take one of these little packets pour it in here and then mix it up and then put it in one side of your nose squeeze the fluid will push through one side of the nose and out the other side of the nose and clear out your sinuses it works wonders it really truly works or better it works better than any drug but the thing is your sinuses have to be open for this to work well if, this, if the force of this sinus rinse is, rinse is too much, use, it's called a Nelly Pot, which is also made by these guys. Um, and again, mix it in there, hold it into your sinuses, let it let the gravity drain the, the, the salt, pH balanced salt fluid water into your one sinuses and out the other sinus. <coughs> Works wonders, again, for allergies, for for, um, for sinusitis, but again, you have to open it up first before you can do that. So the second thing, second thing, along with opening and clearing, you drain and flush with those things. The other thing you can use is, they, I do have like a, a saline rinse. They have these little bottles uh, of just, just saline, just natural saline. You push in the one nostril and it blows saline in and it blows out the other side. And once, the, when, once your sinuses are opened and flushed, Okay, now what you want to do is you want to decrease the amount of um, mucus production. So whatever's causing the sinus to be inflamed, you want to decrease that production. And so what you want to use after that is either a, a, an antihistamine of some sort. So there's two types. There's the drowsy, older versions of antihistamines, which we actually already use for Meniere's disease quite a bit, um, such as Benadryl. Such as Benadryl. Um, or um, chlortraumaton or dimetab, okay? Um, they also have second effects by decreasing vertigo and work well to block allergic reactions. 
or you can use sort of the newer drugs such as the Claritin, um, Loratadine, Allegra, which is Fexofenadine, or Zyrtec. Um, again, these work well for their antihistamines. They're less sedating, less drowsy antihistamines. They work well to drive the sinuses. However, um, the, the older generation, sort of like the Benadryl, the Dimetab, the Clortramaton, more sedating, but more drying with the side effects and actually work maybe a little bit better in some ways with the sinusitis. The newer ones also are less drowsy or minimal drowsiness, um, but they're not as dry, drying, quite as drying, and they may not be fully work as well with acute sinusitis, okay? Um, so the third thing is after you, so after you drain and flush, you dry up the mucus production with these other medicines. The last medicine, I recommend, last things I, I, I think I do recommend is the anti-inflammatory treatments. Um, and the anti-inflammatory treatments is using a um, steroid spray, either a Flonase nasal spray, okay, um, or a nasal, uh, nasal spray. What these are, these are inhaled steroids. They do not get systemically in, in, absorbed much. And what they do is they flush into your frontal sinuses and reduce the amount of inflammation. Along with that, all these other antihistamines that I was recommending before do actually work to block allergic reactions and, and, and are an anti-inflammatory. Uh, as far as medicines. The last set of um, medicines that, that physicians are, will often prescribe are uh, antibiotics, um, so amoxicillin, Cephalex, uh, Bactrim, called trimethoprim, sulfamethoxone, Bactrim, those are the three classic medicines that people give for um, sinusitis. But the key with inflamed or infected sinuses is 99% is of it is actually opening up the sinuses and getting everything to drain out. Giving the antibiotics themselves are not going to fix the sinusitis, they're not going to help with that because all you're going to do is give the antibiotics but you still have the inflammation and the sinus and the mucus there. Um, so a lot of other things that we do give are antibiotics if the sinusitis is chronic, meaning greater than four to six weeks, and you're having fevers, severe pain, and very purulent mucusy, ugly discharge. Okay. The last thing I highly, highly recommend, and this is actually one of the basis for a treatment of sinusitis, is to use uh, humidified air. So I would recommend using a wet, warm washcloth, take hot, warm showers, get a lot of steam going, get a little humidifier. There's like a little facial humidifier you can actually put up to your nose. It has a little adapter here you can pull off, and, and it actually works specifically for the sinuses. You put it on, and then you inhale it, inhale the fluid, the, the, the moisturized air, get it into your sinuses. What it sounds counterproductive because I just was talking about trying to dry the mucus production, but what the medicines do is they want to dry that extra inflammation mucus production, and then once the, the, the membranes are exposed and cleared and flushed, this is when you use the humidifier, okay? The humidifier to like sort of moisten the, the sinuses and, and, and um, try to get the inflammation down. So I hope that helped. Uh, I'm gonna also attach a little brief, uh, another little video um, of me walking through the uh, pharmacy um, and sort of pointing out some of the other medicines, well, the same medicines I just pointed out here to help with uh, sinusitis. Um, I'm gonna actually put that in a separate video um, and label it differently. But I hope that helped um, because during this cold and winter time, very, very common, people get these sinus medicine, sinus inflammation. Uh, one other thing I did, I forgot to recommend, is also there's this ire saline nasal drops. This thing also comes in a gel. The gel actually works even better than the drops, but again, after everything is um, open and clear, flushed and drained, mucous membranes dried up, and you're given the anti-inflammatory, the um, inhaled steroids, use this to sort of moisturize the uh, sinuses. Okay, thank you.